subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. The William Pace Show, asking the questions you want to ask, getting the answers everyone wants to know. It's a new season of the William Pace Show. We're raising the bar with more commitment to educate, inform, encourage, inspire, empower, and help you have your best life. Everyone deserves to have their best life. I'm just staying the course. Here we go. Hello, I'm William Pace. We have a different show for you tonight. We have a band here. They call themselves the Grandfathers. Interesting. We have Stephen Hughes of the Dayton Kiwanis Club, and they're going to be talking about some of the projects they're working on. Lester Margolis, a comic, is back with us tonight. He was on our last show. We had so many requests, we decided to have him back tonight. Chef Stan Johnson of Jade's Restaurant will cook for us a grill rare tuna dish. And I'm going to assist him. And my special guest is Mr. D.L. Stewart. He's a columnist for the Dayton Daily Newspaper. He's going to be talking about his new book, Stepfathers Are People Too. But before we start the show tonight, I'd like to share a few letters from some of the viewers. The first letter comes from a Johnny Harshbarger. Dear Mr. Pace, it is good to see someone trying to introduce some homegrown culture and humanity to Dayton. I think it's something different for local television programming. Best of luck for a successful season. Well, thank you very much, Johnny, for writing. The next letter is from Mary Ryan. Dear William, I wanted to take just a moment of your time to thank you for a nice change of pace Christmas night variety program. I look forward to seeing more of this type of family entertainment. And the last letter is from Natalie Snyder. Dear Mr. Pace, your show Late Christmas Night was a refreshing combination of entertainment and information. It is so gratifying to see Dayton presenting some of its wonderfully talented natives. Thank you, uh, Natalie, for writing, and thank you, Mary, for writing, and we're going to send you all a box of Esther Price candy. We invite you to write to us. We welcome your comments and your suggestions. And we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, 
on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My guest this evening is Chef Stanley of Jay's Seafood Restaurant. Thanks so much for coming on the show tonight. Sure. What are you going to prepare for us? I'm going to prepare a unique fresh grilled tuna. Wonderful. That sounds delicious. Let's go right out in the kitchen. Where do we start now? Start with the fresh yellowfin tuna. This, is this tuna? Yes. This looks yellowfin. more like steak to me. No, this is fresh yellowfin tuna from uh, the Atlantic. Uh, we get our fish blown in twice a week. And so this is pretty mm -hmm. fresh. This fish came in uh, just today. Okay, so you get an order twice a week then here. Right. I'm so used to seeing tuna in a can all mashed up. So this is a surprise for me to see it looking like this here. That's a uh, processed tuna with uh, oil and water added to that salt. Mm -hmm. What's next here? We have uh, the vegetables for the grilled rare tuna. We have the zucchini. We have the squash. Squash. Pepper and onion. Pepper and onion. Uh, and we also have uh, the tomatoes. Uh huh. And roasted pepper with a little bit of basil for a garnish. Now, I guess we have to chop this up. Right. Let me see if I can, can do this without chopping my finger. Okay. Uh, which one should I start with first? You can start with any one of those. Okay. Whatever you prefer. Now, where did you get your schooling? Um, I'm a self-taught chef. Really? From uh, here at Jay's Restaurant, from uh, previous chefs, and I've also been to several different other places. I've been to seminars and uh, went to Johnson & Wells University for a few seminars also. Mm -hmm. Now, this dish here, the grilled rare tuna dish, is it pretty popular here at Jay's? Yes, it is. It's one of our most popular items. It's uh, different and unique from uh, other restaurants during tuna. Why is it so popular, would you say? What makes uh, it so popular? Because of the grilled vegetables. It's not too many places where you have uh, grilled vegetables. Uh huh. And, you know, the freshness of our fish is unlike your grocery stores, which mm -hmm. we have now the kitchen door. Mm -hmm. And uh, that fish has a tendency to set around. We keep. Uh, they only have it flown in once a week. Most of the time, they don't even have it flown in. Mm -hmm. We fly ours in uh, twice a week from two mm -hmm. companies out of Boston. So the so the tuna, the meat, is always fresh here. Right. We keep it in 32 degrees walk-in. We uh, just got a new walk-in recently. Mm -hmm. uh, not even a year old, and that's part of the kitchen door also. What's the next step to prepare prepare the dish here? Next step is putting the uh, vegetables onto the grill. We take it and uh, butter your items and put them onto the grill. Like so. Well, I can see what they mean when they say if the, the heat is too much for you to get out of the kitchen here. Yeah, especially in the summertime. Now we're going to take this over and it smells delicious. So after you, you get it cooked, you cut it in parts then. Right. It uh, gives it a different flavor. The texture of the fish is uh, very like that. Mm -hmm. And it uh, really tastes a lot better after cutting it. It gives it a unique flavor because of the grillingness, the heat mm -hmm. of the fish. Well, I guess we're ready to go out into the dining room now and try it out. Mmm, thank you. Mmm. <laughs> My compliments to the chef. Thank you. The William Pace
Wednesday show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Hughes of the Dayton Kiwanis Club. I'd like to know what does Kiwanis stand for? What's the meaning of Kiwanis? Kiwanis is an Indian word that literally translated means to express yourself. Today our club motto is we build. Mm -hmm. When did the Kiwanis Club start in Dayton? In 1916 the Dayton Kiwanis Club was chartered as the seventh club in the United States. Today there are over 8,800 clubs in 77 countries with membership of almost 327,000 individuals. What are some of your upcoming projects that you're working on right now? Our club actively supports both projects for the senior citizens in our community as well as serving the needs of our youth throughout Dayton. Mm -hmm. For senior citizens, we started in 1960 what is called the Dayton Kiwanis Senior Citizens Building Project Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Through that, we built a 41-room 41 uh, 41 complex in North Dayton called the Golden Villa. Ever since its completion in 1965, this Dayton club has been actively involved in the daily management of the Golden Villa. Regarding the youth of our area, we have a variety of programs. Two of them are directly tied in with the Children's Medical Center. One of those is the Ray Burek Women in Sports Award program that we hold every year to recognize the top amateur athletes in the Dayton area. And the second one is a new program where we are going to begin training babysitters and first-time parents on babysitting techniques for their children. Other projects that we have that serve the youth of our community include an annual disadvantaged youth outing as well as a senior recognition day. Great. Can you tell me how a, a person can get involved with the Dayton Kiwanis Club? Sure. If you'd like more information on becoming a member of the Dayton Kiwanis Club, all you have to do is call the following number, 228-3828, for more information. Thanks so much for coming on tonight, and we'll be back in a moment with Lester Margolis. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, 
welcome on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. People are wondering where the new young comedians are coming from. Well, I recently met one in Springfield at the Elderly United Center. Happy to be here. Good to have you here. Yes. A funny thing happened on the way to the studio. Really? I ran, yes, I ran into a friend of mine and told me the most unusual funny thing in years. Mm. This friend, he was 80 years old when his wife died, and he did his share of mourning, but he <laughs> decided that life must go on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he went on a weight diet, lost 30 pounds, got a new set of teeth, a facelift <laughs> and a new hair piece <laughs> and went over to Arthur Murray's to learn how to do the rumba and the cha-cha oh. and decided to date. <laughs> yes, but 30 days went by and the poor soul died of a heart attack and went to heaven. And he said and asked, God, why me just when I'm having a great time? And God replied, Joe, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> yes. Tell me, tell me, how did you get started? Oh, many years when I was a young man, 13. 13. That's the bar mitzvah age where I come from. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you just and started. I, what, you pardon? just started by. No, it wasn't an accident. It was a Hornet Hearted radio program in Philadelphia way before television I for see. young people between 13 and 16. And I happened to be in that age bracket and decided that was my way to go. Oh, well, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, I'm sure. Lester Margolis. He went to Hawaii one time. He won a trip for two, and he went twice. <laughs> Good man. For those of you who are deeply concerned about this happily married couple, yes, they are, but not to each other. Thank you. back with our special guest, Mr. D.L. Stewart. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There is always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. 
subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My guest this evening is D.L. Stewart. He's a columnist for the Dayton Daily Newspaper. He's also a syndicated columnist across the country. Recently, he wrote a book called Stepfathers Are People Too. What inspired you to write this book? Well, William, it actually didn't start out to be that way. It actually started out to be a sequel to Gone with the Wind. <laughs> and then I, someone else came out with it ahead of me, and so I had to do a lot of rewriting real fast, and then it mm. became a book about stepfathers. But, I mean, the serious answer, I guess, is that there are somewhere between 10 and 13 million stepfathers in this country. I figure if I could sell just one book to each of those guys, that's a lot of money, and I can get out of Dayton and go live someplace where it's warm. <laughs> So, um, your background, your with being married uh, a second time and having uh, stepchildren, did that motivate you to to or play a part in writing the book? Oh, sure. I mean, I, I saw all this commotion and, and all this this hassle going on around the house, and I said, these kids must be good for something. So mm -hmm. uh, I said, well, I'll turn them into a book and, and see if I can make some money and, and replace all the food that they eat and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, Sure, you know, I mean, it, it was an obvious uh, sequel. I had written a book earlier called Fathers Are People Too, mm -hmm. and that was also fiction, of course, and now uh, this is this is the follow-up to that, and the next one will be Grandfathers Are People Too, and Great Grandfathers <laughs> Are People Too, and as long as and on and going, on. no and on going and on. forever. <laughs> I'd like to uh, ask you to elaborate a little bit on, on this paragraph for me. Stepfathers are the relief pictures of family life. Substitutes brought in with the bases loaded and the opposing team running wild. They are second string parents, bench warmers who weren't around at the beginning of the game when the rules were being made. What did you mean by that? Well, I think what prompted me to write that is, is the realization that we thought we had a perfect match because she had two sons that were about the same age as my two sons and we figured they'd fit mm -hmm. right in and we'd become the Brady Bunch. And of course, it turns out we wound up being like the Manson family. I mean, a whole different thing. <laughs> but uh, she she raised her kids one way. I raised my kids one way, and it was tough, I think, for both of us to adapt to to the different way the kids had been raised. Her kids read a lot and were, were pretty, you know, well refined and everything. And my kids mm -hmm. were into belching and and, and a lot of uh, bodily fluid jokes. <laughs> and, uh, so we had to adapt to each other, and, and it, it was quite an adjustment, and, it, and it, it's an ongoing adjustment. I think every mm -hmm. step family has that kind of a, a situation. Though. I want to ask about, in the book, you talk about you know, the stepchildren, uh, stepfathers, stepmothers, and you talk about step cat. The step cat. Uh, are we going to do the giveaway we talked about, the first reader who writes, or the first yes. viewer who writes in? Yes. We're going to mail them the step cat? <laughs> you no, promised I, me. That's no. the only reason I came I on the show. It was like, you know, get rid of that cat, and you, you said we we're would going, do that. Now we're going we're to back out. <laughs> we're going to send them a book here. No, no, no. Send them the cat. Keep the book. <laughs> well, anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for coming on the show tonight and um, talking about your uh, your recent book, Stepfathers Are People Too. We got a, a gift certificate for you for two to the Peasant Stock Restaurant. Ooh, now who should I take? Well, of course your wife. Oh, that, Not that's the right, cat. of course. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment with some closing comments. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There is always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. Oh, 
My next show will air next Saturday night right after WWF Wrestling right here on WDTN Channel 2. My special guest will be Miss Patty Austin. She'll be talking about her new album, Carry On. Gotta go. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. cooking a grill rare tuna dish and talking with D.L. Stewart on the next William Pace show this Saturday night right after WWF Wrestling on WDTN Channel 2. The William Pace show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel 
Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you.